dear students now today's video i will discuss about surface integration in the previous videos as you know i have discussed about line integration and some simple examples of line integration also now i move to surface integration and i will discuss today the theory of surface integration what do you actually mean by surface integration what is the physical significance of surface integration how a surface integration can be evaluated etc and then in the upcoming classes i will discuss one by one some simple examples on surface integration that the concept that you learn here will be clear more clear by using the various examples so now let me discuss what actually mean by this surface integration let me first put the mathematical form of surface integration and then i will discuss what is the physical significance of it and how it can be evaluated so the surface integration that is for any vector field surface integration for any vector field in a region of space in a particular surface if there is a uh, vector field of the vector a and in that field if we take a surface then the surface integration can be defined as a dot ds this is actually the surface integration over a particular surface s and suppose if there is a surface like this it can be any any shape there is a surface s like this and a vector field a is directed like this over here this is a vector you can say through this surface s and then if we take a small small elementary surface ds over here then this ds have a particular direction like this this direction can be denoted as n hat which is the outward normal direction so the dot product of a dot ds if we take through the whole surface then this integration is called surface integration this is actually the surface integration this is actually a double integration surface integration integration on s on s surface integration of which vector field the vector field is here is a a vector now this surface may be of two types one is you can say the open surface open surface and another one is closed surface another one is closed surface closed surface now what is open surface open surface means the surface which does not contain or does not bound any volume but the closed surface contain a certain volume so when it bounded some volume then then it is called the closed surface and the notation of this integration of this surface integration in a closed surface like this a dot ds and for open surface it is simply s a dot ds and this is this notation is special for the closed surface now an important point is that over here for closed surface in sometimes we have seen that this closed integral a dot ds will be zero it will vanish and if in a vector field like this is a vector field in a certain region there is a vector field in a certain region and if we take any closed surface over here any closed surface over here and for each and every closed surface if the vector integration will be vanishes that is closed integral a dot ds will be zero for each and every closed surface if we take over here for all the closed surfaces randomly chosen if the integration will be zero for all the chosen surfaces 
then that vector field in that region of space the existing vector field is called solenoidal field in that case a will be called solenoidal field okay so this is the all about the surface integration what is the mathematical form of the surface integration and the some important and aspects of surface integration you can say but what is the physical significance of this thing what is the physical significance the physical significance of this surface integration you have read from your previous classes like in your class 12 you know about this physical significance of the surface integration and when you talk about talked about gauss law then you have read that the surface integration and this surface integration is called they are actually flux this is the they are the flux of the electric field so that was called the electric flux and here we will generalize it, the thing the generalize it, the result and we will call that the um, flux of any vector field so physical significance is, this is the a dot ds surface integration a dot ds actually means that this is nothing but the flux of the vector field through any surface vector field through the through the surface the surface that we have talked about flux of the vector field through the surface so this is the physical significance of the vector field a now there are various process of representations of this vector of this vector integration or the, or the surface integration uh, as you um, as you know that this if the if this is the n hat this is the direction of this um, surface s then ds can be written as ds vector can be written as ds into n cap this is actually the vector notation so if we uh, if we express if you want to express this surface integration in terms of uh, n hat then we can write down like this this surface integration a dot ds can be written as like this a dot n hat ds or n cap ds like this we can also write it like this this is the surface integration now the question is that how you can evaluate this surface integration by using the projection method this is the very popular method to doing surface integration that is the projection method so now i like to discuss with you about the projection method how you can evaluate the surface integration by using the by using the projection method so now i like to discuss about the projection method projection method what we will do in that case the surface integration which is a dot n hat ds this surface integration now according to the surface we have to project the surface in any one of the plane like if we want to project uh, want to uh, evaluate the integration in x y plane then we have to take the projection on x y plane and in that case the form will be a dot n hat if we talk about the x y plane then this will be dx dy and divide by mod n hat dot k this is the form and you can prove it in many books in any actually books of vector calculus you can see the proof there but the proof is not very useful for us uh, especially for the physics students this proof is not required anywhere but you have to evaluate the integration by using this projection method so the proof is not important but the important thing is that how can you use this result so i directly route the, write down the result over here so if you want to take the projection is on xy plane the region is on xy plane then you have to put 
this integration like this a dot n hat dx dy divided by n dot k what the symbols have the usual meanings as you can as you know the symbols what is dx dy what is n dot k at you know the symbols i think because you know the basic things of vectors now if you, you see see that this n dot k is equal to 0 if n dot k is equal to 0 then you cannot take the projection on x y plane in that case you have to choose on, uh, on another plane so if you if you want to take if you see that the n dot j not equal to 0 then in that case you have to take the projection a dot n at ds will be in that case <coughs> it will be on the a dot n hat into dx dz so in that xz plane divided by mod n dot j in that case you have to take on xz plane and if there is problem the, that n dot j is also equals to 0 then you have to take another plane also you can take in that case a dot n hat ds will be surface integration in that case uh, you have to take the projection on yz plane if n dot j equals to 0 and in that case the integration will be on x yz sorry on yz plane in the first case there is the xy plane then the xz plane then you can take it on yz plane also and in that case it will take the form like this a dot n hat dy dz divided by mod n dot i so these are the process of evaluating of the surface integration by using the projection method so you have to uh, keep in mind the method only okay and uh, in the upcoming classes i will discuss how we can use this process and we can evaluate the integration and so on so thank you